A normal therapist can help you work through issues you're having with fears, like being afraid of the dark or afraid of spiders. But what if you're training to break the world record in the 100 meter dash? For that, you'll need a sports therapist. So let's meet one. Sometimes things work out. Other times, not so much. Ow. Athletes always want to do their best, but occasionally an illness or an injury will rob them of their chance to shine. Thankfully, advancements in sports medicine are making it so that athletes can get back onto the court or the field where they belong. We're going to find out more with the help of sports physical therapist, Dr. Lita Malik. I played sports growing up, and I had my own fair share of injuries. And it wasn't until I was in college where I fell in love with exercise as a medicine. I'm the first female in my family to go into healthcare, and to be a doctor of physical therapy is something I'm really proud of. Today, I'm visiting Dr. Malik's clinic in San Mateo, California, to see how she brings sports and science together, and also to see if she can help me with some knee pain I have when I play basketball. Hey, how's it going? Good. So you are a sports physical therapist. What kinds of people do you work with? So anyone who's especially active in, say, a runner or a soccer player or a football player or a tennis player or even a dancer, I've studied the way they move in their sport, and I get them back to the activity they love if they've been injured. Historically, physical therapy's revolved a lot around passive therapy, like laying on a table and getting something massaged. And now we really are focusing on movement-based therapy, a big active approach. It's pretty amazing that you can use exercise to make exercise more efficient, even if you got hurt while exercising. That makes my brain hurt. I guess my brain needs exercise? It's part of the whole program. <laughs> On the clinic court, Dr. Malik assesses how I perform at my sport of choice, basketball. While she learns a lot from observing my movements, she also gathers hard data with specialized tools. So this is called a goniometer. Uh, sorry, a goni what? Goniometer. It's basically a human protractor. For this test, Dr. Malik measures the angle of my knee joint where I have pain. Dr. Malik doesn't just check my performance during individual exercises, but also how my whole body moves while actually playing basketball. <laughs> well, your performance is good. She's also finding out that I'm an extremely cool guy who is good at sports. Woo! Most of the time. You're not getting these misses, right? <laughs> to help her patients recover, Dr. Malik has a fully stocked gym with advanced tech like this special treadmill. This is an anti-gravity treadmill. It seems pretty firmly secured to the ground. That's because the inside can make it feel like you're defying the laws of gravity. For the treadmill to work, I need to put on these pants. Yes, I know, they look fabulous, but once they're zipped up, they create an airtight seal in the chamber below. Extra air pressure in the chamber holds up the patient, making them feel lighter. At 70% of my body weight, Walking is a piece of cake. This will help train the nervous system to fire up the muscles as they were prior to injury. Repetitive motions like running help athletes recover. And the treadmill is just one part of Dr. Malik's course of treatment. We also look at your pain, your range of motion, your swelling, how you look like on regular ground with full gravity. And if something like that is impacted for the worse, then we know this might have been a little bit too much. Well, thank you for letting me take it for a spin. And You're thank so you for welcome. teaching me all about physical therapy today. It truly is a beautiful intersection between sports and science. You know what? I'm actually, I think I'm going to actually keep these. No, I, I need those. I think they suit me. <laughs> you know what? I'll send them to you in the mail. No, 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 thank no. you so much, Dr. Malik. Real, it's been a pleasure. Those. You're the best. <laughs> If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.